today we're going to talk about the cross. So when you visit our church or lots of other churches, you might see crosses in our churches, maybe up on the roof or on the doors. There's all sorts of crosses. And the reason we decorate our church with crosses is because Jesus, the second person of the Trinity, he had to carry a cross and he actually died on a cross. And so we remember how much Jesus loved us when he died on the cross. And that's why we decorate our churches with crosses sometimes. And we have a special prayer that we can remember the way that Jesus carried his cross. And that prayer is called the Stations of the Cross. You can pray the Stations of the Cross any time of the year, but a lot of times we pray them during Lent. And right now it's Lent, so we're going to learn about the different stations. So there are 14 stations of the cross. And stations just kind of means like stops along the way. So Jesus had to carry his cross from the city of Jerusalem all the way to Calvary where he died on the cross. And he had different stops along that journey. And those are the 14 stations of the cross. So we're going to learn about those today. And I have a special way that we can learn about them. I put together some different objects to help us remember all the 14 different stations because that's a lot to remember, okay? So we're going to start with station number one. This is number one. And in station number one, the governor tells Jesus that he is going to be crucified. He's going to die on the cross. And you see that the governor put rope around Jesus' wrists. So I have piece of string or rope to remember that in the first station, Jesus was condemned to die. Okay, so then let's see, on station number two, Jesus is given his cross, okay, and he accepted his cross. He knew that he was going to die, and he chose to do that because he loves us so much, and that way someday we can go to heaven to be with him. So I have a cross to remember that Jesus accepted his cross. And in station number three, Jesus falls for the first time. The cross was very heavy, and so Jesus fell under the weight of the cross. When you fall at home and skin up your knee, I bet your mom puts a Band-Aid on it. So I have a Band-Aid to help us remember that Jesus fell for the first time. Then in station number four, Jesus meets his mother, Mary. She was there as he was carrying his cross, and he got to look up and see his mother's face. So I have a picture of Mary to put in our kit to remember that Jesus met his mother along the way. Then the fifth station, Jesus is helped by a man named Simon. So the soldiers pulled Simon from the crowd to help Jesus carry his heavy cross, and Simon helped him. In our kit, I have a hand to help us remember that Simon was a helping hand to Jesus while he carried his cross. Then in the sixth station, there was a woman named Veronica. And Veronica saw how Jesus had sweat and blood on his face and she wanted to wipe his face. So she took her veil and she gently wiped the face of Jesus. And when she pulled it back, she saw that there was a picture of him on her veil. It was a miracle. And that happened along the way of the cross. That's the sixth station. Now in the seventh station, Jesus falls for the second time. That cross was so very heavy. So we have another band-aid to remember Jesus fell again. In the eighth station, Jesus comforted the women. There were many people watching as Jesus carried his cross that long distance. And there were a group of women who were crying to see Jesus having to suffer. And so Jesus comforted them. So we have a tissue to remember that Jesus came to comfort the women and maybe dry their tears as they cried. Then in the ninth station, Jesus falls for the third time cross again was so heavy that he couldn't carry it very well by himself, so he fell one more time. In the tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments, so when they got to the place called Calvary, the soldiers took away his clothes. So we have a piece of a 
um, like a little tunic that he might have worn. In the eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. And the soldiers, they put nails through his hands and through his feet so that they could crucify him. So I have three nails in our kit to remember the eleventh station where Jesus was nailed to the cross. In the twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. In our churches, we remember this everywhere. We, we have crucifixes in our church, right? So I have a small crucifix here in my kit to help me remember how Jesus died on the cross. Of course, it was very sad, but we can remember when we see a crucifix. You see how big Jesus' arms are out on the cross? He's like this, right? He's, it's like he's saying, I love you this much willing to go and die on the cross and make a sacrifice for you. And on the 13th station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. He had died and he was placed in his mother's arms. I have a statue of what this might have looked like. This is called the Pieta. And there's a Jesus who's laid in his mother's arms. And then the last station, the 14th station, Jesus is placed in the tomb. Okay? The tomb was kind of like um, a cave where they placed people who had died. And over the front of the tomb, they rolled a great big rock. So I have a rock to help us remember that Jesus was placed in the tomb. So those are the 14 different stations of the cross. And Jesus, when he made that sacrifice, when he carried his cross that long way, when he died on the cross, he made that sacrifice for us. And during Lent, we are called to make sacrifices too, right? Ms. Allison taught us we can pray, and we can fast, and we can give. And all those little sacrifices are to help other people and to help us be more like Jesus.